I'm Mary West on the Voice of the Foothills, AM 950 K High. Today, the city of Auburn honored one of its longtime civic leaders, Annabelle McCord, by dedicating a tile in her honor in Central Square, in front of where McCord's flooring used to stand. Cheryl Mackey of Mackey Heating and Air, former mayor of Auburn, considered McCord a mentor and spoke at today's dedication. She wanted it to be all about us, and it always has been all about us. She touched so many of us with her wisdom, her heart, and her love for Auburn. And her lasting admonition, if not you, who? Will be etched here for all of us to see, and perhaps ingrain a spirit of public service into the hearts and minds of those who view it when they walk by. I want to thank a few people. I want to thank the city of Auburn, particularly Bernie Shorter for all of her efforts to get the tile and grave set and for helping us with this dedication today. Through Optimus International of Auburn, I want to thank you, our wonderful club and organization, for agreeing to move forward with this recognition for Annabelle. Annabelle McCord epitomized everything that Sir Optimus International of the Americans represents. I want to thank the Streetscape History and Art Advisory Committee, also known as SHAC. They recommended our application after we uh, introduced it to them and presented it to them, and they recommended it to the City Council for approval. So I uh, appreciate their recommendation and taking it forward to the City Council. And of course, I have to thank the Auburn City Council in their infinite wisdom for approving the application and recommendation as well. Thank you very much. I want to thank some very important people here in the audience today, Annabelle's family. Brad and Galen, Pat and Cheryl helped me with the wording on the tile and, and the day that we were going to have it uh, dedicated. And they were, they've always been so helpful in helping us memorialize Annabelle. And I know that it's a, it's a, it's a difficult thing. It's kind of a finalization of, of, of your mother's passing. And I appreciate the really wholehearted efforts and, and being, being uh, on board with this from the very beginning. So thank you, and thank you to anybody, and thank you all for being here. And anybody I didn't acknowledge, I'm sorry, but no, I thank you all anyway. <laughs> I'd like to introduce our mayor, Kevin Hanley. He's going to say a few words. To honor those who have shaped the history of Auburn. Annabelle McCord shaped the history of Auburn in a positive way. Her example will continue to inspire many residents in our town for generations to come. So determined leadership was a smile, was her winning tactic. Last month when I looked around at the faces at the annual Celebrity Chefs, an event created by Annabelle, I saw a lot of smiles among the chefs and the residents who attended. And last week when I had the privilege to attend the Seroptimus Awards Ceremony and the presentation of the first annual Annabelle McCord Award, I saw a lot of smiles among the women who are dedicated to carrying on Annabelle's leadership style. So in conclusion, with the dedicate, dedication of this granite paver today, we aspire to continue her selfless and dedicated example and honor her leadership with a smile for generations to come. Thank you. Mom was always prepared, as you know. So in case it does rain, I brought a couple of her umbrellas. <laughs> They'll be here to cover them. And the other thing was is that always in her life, she was a person that was like a spotlight.
I'm Mary West on the Voice of the Foothills, AM 950 K High.